Sounds good, Sam. Good. All right, uh, we're ready to get started here. I'd like to welcome everyone. Um, thank you all for attending here at Elfon Family Lounge and those of you watching the stream at home. Um, just one note that the speakers will take their masks off uh, when they um, come to the lectern for audio purposes, and then they'll mask back up you know, when they step away from the lectern. So um, we'll get started. First, I'd like to introduce Director of Athletics, Ken Ralph. <laughs> Nobody ever claps for me. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. It's, uh, it's great to have you here. And I uh, can't thank you enough for coming by. Uh, it's an exciting day. Um, fun to see a few coaches in the room, including a few, and a few Hall of Famers lurking about. This is, uh, this is exciting, uh, but appreciate everybody being here to share, uh, to share this moment. Um, I also see Walt Abbott in the crowd. When you get Coach Abbott turning out, you know it's a big day. So, Coach, <laughs> thanks for being here. Um, it's, it's really special to have you here. So thanks for, thanks for making the time to come by. Uh, just a quick explanation of the search process. I think everybody realizes this went by incredibly quickly, um, especially for Maine. We're not known for, uh, for being as nimble, um, but we had a lot of people who helped us make this happen on a very, very uh, rapid timeline. Uh, we really want to thank our search committee. Uh, they processed an unbelievable amount of information in an incredibly compressed time slot. And uh, so for uh, Samantha Hegman, uh, Brian Faison, Matt Curtis, Seth Woodcock and TJ Anglin, I uh, can't thank them enough for um, really focusing in and working very, very hard to get this done. Um, we also used a lot of football uh, alumni as consultants uh, to help us better understand the game, better understand what types of experiences mattered, help us understand what some of the terminology people were using in resumes meant, um, and to recognize what, uh, what was real and, and what may have been um, exaggerated. So uh, a, an incredible number of football alums uh, uh, we reached out to to make sure uh, they were engaged in the process as well. Uh, we did use 15 different criteria points, uh, which we thought were important as we considered how we were going to evaluate our coaches. We had it up on the whiteboard uh, in my office, and we used it as a guide as we considered each of our candidates. Went through an extensive resume review. As you can imagine, there was no shortage of interest in the position. Some people formally applied, some people informally applied, sniffing around at the edges and didn't want to be fully in unless it was going to be their job. Um, but we ended up with a, a pretty sizable number of individuals who um, wanted to be part uh, of this program, and that made it very exciting. We did almost two dozen screening calls, or basically initial interviews uh, with candidates to gauge their interest, get a little bit of their background, and just get a feel for who they were. We selected five for more formal interviews, which in today's world, that means, guess what? You're doing them by Zoom. Um, it's very, very different. Um, but it actually turned out to be quite efficient uh, and worked out quite well. And then we moved on to a final selection after uh, talking uh, to a number of different references uh, to get a feel for everyone. Um, and like I said, this was done in, I think, beginning and end in nine days. So that was, uh, that was something that we felt was necessary. When you take a look at the fact that we've got a signing day coming up December 15th, we have, a, um, we have our last day of classes is tomorrow when our students are gonna start heading home. We thought it was important for our new head coach to be in front of his team and begin to make those relationships. We wanted to see if we couldn't get a few guys signed to this early period. Uh, but more than anything, we wanted our football players going home for the holidays, knowing what was happening, and being ready to go, um, and being able to hear from their head coach directly. And that's one of the reasons we had to be diligent about doing the search fast, but we were not going to sacrifice accuracy or effort for speed. Um, this was a heavy process. There was a lot going on, and I'm so grateful for so many people jumping in to assist. I'd especially like to thank uh, President Joan Farini Mundy. Um, as you can imagine, academics are not always comfortable with the speed in which uh, athletic searches are done, um, but the president was remarkable, uh, very, very supportive, um, allowed us to keep the search moving at this pace, and, um, and really was very understanding of, of how we were going approach, of, about the approach here, and understanding why uh, we were doing it in the manner we were. I'd also like to thank Vice President uh, for Finance, Joanne uh, Ustramsky. She really helped us look at ways that we could reorganize the budget and look at new revenue sources so that we could resource the program correctly. And I'd like to thank Vice President for Human Resources, Chris Lindstrom, uh, for his work uh, to get Jordan here as quickly as we possibly could. Uh, I think for those of you who already know Jordan, you know why we hired him. For those of you who, have, who understand him as a person and who have experienced him as a football coach, you know why he's here. Um, 
I, it's a funny story. I just hired a football coach who I'd never met. All right, and that's a scary proposition. We met yesterday in the hallway uh, for the first time. Uh, we'd only seen each other over Zoom. Um, but there was absolutely no doubt that we, we, we hired the right person. And quite frankly, he came out of a very, very competitive field. We have multiple, um, uh, multiple alums, multiple coaches of color, uh, head coaches with, with incredible track records of um, accomplishments as head coaches. Uh, so there was no shortage of good candidates to choose from. Uh, but clearly, Jordan stood out. His backstory being from Maine, uh, uh, going to a prep school to make sure he was ready to play football here at UMaine, coming here and not just being on the team, but thriving on the team, working his way up to being a captain, um, being an all-CAA performer, and working his way into uh, getting looks at the NFL level um, is just that classic story that you always hope for. And it shows you what somebody's character is all about, what their drive is all about. And everything we've heard about the coaching career as well, whether it's four years here at Maine or the seven years he spent at Yale, um, has been constant improvement, constant progression, constant increase in responsibilities. And you talk to the players who've played for him, you talk to the coaches who've worked with him, and they say there's just no one better. But the thing that really stood out to me was not what people said about Jordan as a football coach, but what they said about him as a person. And there's no substitute for having good people. That's what really matters. That's what our students deserve. And that's what everybody talked about when they talked about Jordan Stevens. And I'm so excited that he and Ellen now get to be part of our Black Bear family once again. It's important to have you guys back. It was time for a true son of Maine to come back and take over this program. We had a lot of outside feedback, as you could imagine. A lot of people wanted to make a comment on the search. Um, we had a lot of football alumni who felt a little bit disenfranchised, who felt a little distanced from the program, and wanted somebody here that they felt was in it for the long haul, that wanted to be at the University of Maine, who wanted to be a black bear. And to those alumni, I want you to know we heard you. We heard you loud and clear. We also had a fan base that values relationships with our coaching staff. They really value feeling like that coach is part of their family, and they want to be able to build that off more than a couple of years of, of, of time. And to that fan base, I want you to know we heard you. We heard you loud and clear. And to our players who looked me in the eye and said, Ken, when you put a coach in front of us, we want to be sure that that coach is every bit as invested in being a black bear as we are. To our players, I want you to know we heard you loud and clear. And that's why it gives me great pleasure to introduce your next head football coach, Jordan Stevens. Oh, wait a minute. We, we missed something. We missed a step. Got the jersey. We got to get the pictures okay. right, huh? Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you everyone for coming today. Truly honored to be the next head football coach at the University of Maine. This is, uh, I've, I've said that, I said it to the, the team last night, I wasn't out looking to just be a head coach. Uh, my goal was to be the head coach at the University of Maine. And I'm truly honored and grateful for this opportunity. Uh, I, this place has always been special to me. And I think back to my time and, and a lot of people ask me why, why did I want to pursue this job? Well, it had given me so much, challenged me so much. And this was a place where I, I developed. Uh, I was able to reach goals here. And I want to be able to give back in that way. And it takes a special young man to come here, play football. And I told the guys even last night, that's the reason they're here, and is to form that, those relationships that are going to lead to success on the field. I'd like to first thank Ken uh, for his, his time and, and going through the, the interview process. I uh, really love his vision for University of Maine athletics in, in the direction he's looking to take us. Uh, also, like to thank Dr. Joan Farini Mundy. Uh, she was tremendous uh, throughout this process as well. Um, talking to her, I had some great conversations uh, just about the University of Maine football program and how we will integrate into the campus and student life here. I'd like to thank Seth Woodcock for his time with me as well throughout the process and the interview process. Um, and I have to mention 
head coach Tony Reno at Yale University for his development of me, uh, his trust he put in me throughout my time there and allowing me to grow as a coach and really become the coach uh, that I knew I could be and, and achieve the success that we did there was tremendous. And, and to the staff there, I want to thank them as well. Next person I'd like to thank is Coach Cosgrove. Uh, throughout my time here as a player, uh, you know, there was a, I always felt like there was an alignment for me growing up uh, and the values that were instilled in me. And then when I got here, they fell right in line with Coach Cosgrove. And that, that relationship as a player and then as a coach and having him as a mentor meant the world to me. Uh, the trust he would always just put in me to just, to just go do something. Um, I always wanted to make sure I made him proud, um, really, whatever, whatever I did. I want to thank my, my wife, Ellen, daughter, Noella, who's here, and my son, Carson, uh, who we just had. We had him week one of, the, of our season, um, so that was, that was an experience. <laughs> um, also, I want to thank my parents who are here today, um, David and Dorinda Stevens. Uh, you know, a ton of support throughout my time coaching. As many of you know, whether you're a player or a coach, it's, it's a huge commitment. Um, and my family has been by my side throughout that time and, and really supported me uh, and helped, helped me through that time. I also want to thank the main alumni uh, who have reached out to me. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, that gives me great energy. And, and I have always said, like, you know, the support, and people have asked me about that, the support that I've gotten, um, how does that make me feel? Well, it, to me, it's, it means there's a responsibility. Uh, there's a responsibility to make sure I'm doing things the right way, to make sure I'm putting in the work here to honor the men and women who have come before me. Um, and, and that's certainly everything I'm going to seek out to do. I um, also want to recognize Coach Abbott, and I've known him since I got on campus here. Um, had great conversations with Coach as well. Um, tremendous leader and, and, a, and a man for us all to aspire to be. Uh, Looking at this team, who will we be? Uh, the makeup of, of Maine, Maine football will be a tough, disciplined team. That's what you'll see on, fil on film. That's what you'll see on Saturdays, is we'll be a team that is consistent with our execution, consistent with our fundamentals, consistent with the, with the demands that football brings. We'll compete. We're going to compete in everything we do throughout the entire offseason, because that's how we're going to build character. We're going to build character throughout the time in the spring, going right into the season. So when we get to, to Saturdays, that's who we are. We know how to operate. We know how to, how to play. Uh, just look at program goals. Our goal is to win a CAA championship. Uh, we want to be the most physically dominant football team in the conference. And that's, that starts, again, with our, with our offseason coming up. We want to keep the musket in our locker room every year. That's got to be our, our mindset. And there's a lot of pieces to build on here. We have a, a talented roster. Uh, we have tremendous young men here who have given themselves to Maine football, and we want to continue to push them and demand them in every, every aspect. And my mindset going into this offseason and throughout coaching in my time, my philosophy is about development. That's what I love. I love the process of development. You know, we're going to work with these guys development academically, athletically, as football players. Uh, and as leaders, we want them to be leaders on this campus. We want them to be leaders in their community when they leave here. We want them to feel like they are better off for having played football at the University of Maine. And as, I, as I, we look forward uh, into these, these next phase with our players, uh, we will be focused on the training. Our, we're going to have a process mindset. Our mindset is going to be focused on the process of the daily work and the daily tasks it takes to be successful on the field. If we put those pieces together, the success will come. And I can't thank you all for coming out enough, and I thank Ken for, for everything that he's done. Um, and I'm truly honored to be your head football coach. Thank you.
So that concludes this portion of our event as we had the pleasure to introduce the 37th head football coach uh, here at the University of Maine, Jordan Stevens. So again, thank you all for coming. Uh, for the media in attendance, we will have uh, some time with Jordan and Ken after if there's any additional interviews that you'd like. So thank you all. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.